If the minority of people in the world are accumulating and controlling the wealth, then why do we continue to do what the majority do financially? Now, how much does it cost you to dream big? The answer is nothing. But how much does it cost you if you don't? The answer is everything. Taking action is the only way to achieve success. We're going to talk about the power of family banking. Now, what is family banking, you ask? Great question. This is about creating a system just like the one that you already know about. And again, what Nelson described to us is that you've got to learn how to run a business. This takes you back to the grocery store, right? So you remember all of these key teaching moments that are coming up for you to put together your deeper understanding of this process today. And we talked about the phenomenon in physics, creating live steam. What I want to show you here, you can see an image of a tree stump. And the reason I use an image of a tree stump is because I want you to see the phenomenon that's going on just in one policy. So I selected a policy out of our family banking system. We have 62 policies in our family banking system. And in 2012, now we started much earlier than 2012, but this particular policy that I've chosen was created in October of 2012. And that um, coincidentally, a short while before and my twin uh, daughters were born in uh, June of that same year. And you can see a picture here in that year of me with my twin daughters. Now, number three turned out to be number three and number four. So we were expecting one more child and we were blessed with two more uh, children. And um, it's one of the greatest blessings of my life. I have four kids in our family. Each one of our kids has five policies on their lives already. And my oldest is 13. So this policy, when it started to accumulate cash value right from day one, what we did in uh, 2014, so you can see here, this is where the policy began. And I want you to think about a tree. So there's where the policy began. And then in 2013, this is the first year of uninterrupted growth. And have you ever seen a tree shrink? Not a chance. It just keeps expanding. And so that's exactly what happens with your policy. And then in 2014, we took a family vacation, and I mean our entire family, on a vacation by accessing a policy loan. And each year, the dividends are being paid. The dividends are being used to purchase paid-up additions. It just keeps increasing, keeps getting more efficient. In 2015, we purchased a Honda Odyssey for $55,000. We repay our policy loans with 10% interest. And remember, the reason why I do that, go back to the grocery store example. We can sell a can of peas for 60 cents, but as the business owner, I'm putting 62 cents back into the cash register. Just like I'm doing with my policy loan repayments. I'm putting more capital back in to the business that I'm a co-owner of, which makes the business stronger for everyone who, who does business there, including me. Then in 2016, dividends paid up additions yet again. 2017, we purchased a uh, limited edition Ford Explorer, 55,000 yet again. Repaid that policy loan with 10% interest. 2016, dividends paid up addition. 2017, um, as I said, the car. 2018, another family vacation, the whole family. And when we take the whole family on vacation, that's about a 20 to $30,000 policy loan request. And then we repay that on our terms, nobody else's. All that money comes right back to the family. In 2019, another family vacation. In 2020, dividends paid up additions. 2021, I purchased a Nissan Altima, about $38,000. So if we just do some simple math and determine how much money would have otherwise left the family, now, every single year that dividends are being paid, uh, once they're declared, which happens once a year, you can see that the dividend is being credited to my policy based on a much larger circumference. So I don't care what the dividend scale interest rate is doing. I'm not focused on rates. I'm focusing on a matter of where the money's flowing to. And in this case, the money's flowing back to the family, not away. So factor in three vehicles, we've got three uh, family vacations just out of one policy. And with this policy, I'm depositing $20,000 each year. 
if we take into account Nelson's golden rule, his second golden rule, which is don't be afraid to capitalize your system, let's see what the net effect of following that golden rule was. Policy was created in 2012, and we're looking ahead now to 2022. Total premium deposited into the policy, 20,000 in the first year, cumulatively 200,000 up to 2022. The total death benefit started at 721,000. I'm the life that is insured. The death benefit today is 1.114 million and rising every year. The total cash value on day one when the policy was created was approximately $4,500. Today, it's $220,948, and it's rising every single day. This policy is producing live steam. The loan balance on day one was zero. The loan balance today is zero. So we replenished the system, and we now have ready access to 198853 on demand on our terms. So if a high caliber opportunity tracks me down, which it will, it always happens, then I'm going to be able to pounce on that opportunity immediately because I'm in a position of total and absolute control. Now, does anybody recall how much did the death benefit go up from day one through year 10? The death benefit went up 393,000. And how much tax is due on the daily cash value accumulation and how much tax is due on the annual dividend? You got a lot of zeros, Jason. Okay, you got it. And what was the total cash value growth from day one through year 10? 120,948. Did the money for vacations come out of the policy or from the life insurance company? Well, came from the life carrier. Who controlled the banking function and the repayment schedule of each policy loan? It was me, the policy owner. Who co-owns the life carrier, also the lender? That's me, the policy owner. Who has access to all the loan amounts repaid plus more all over again? The policy owner. How much total cash value was ever withdrawn from the policy? Zero. And when I pass away, will my family get back all of the money that I've ever put in plus more? Yes. How much tax is due on the death benefit proceeds? Zero. So we're in a position of total and absolute control. All of the financial energy is flowing back to our family versus flowing away. We're strengthening the business that we co-own for our benefit and everyone else who co-owns it. It's much like the grocery store example. Nelson and Ash asked the question in his book, Becoming Your Own Banker, would you have much of a grocery store if you were the only person who shopped there? The answer is no. You have to build your grocery store so that your needs are met and so that you can help others prosper and help others meet their needs as well. Now, how much does it cost you to dream big? The answer is nothing. But how much does it cost you if you don't? The answer is everything. Taking action is the only way to achieve success. That is the only way to go about it. You've got to set bigger goals and take massive action to achieve them. Let me show you what's possible. So in our system, in the first year, we had two policies in year one. In year 13, we've amassed 62 policies in our family banking system. Our total premium that we deposited in the first year among the two policies was $16,800. In year 13, our total premium is $530,489. Cumulatively, we've put in $2,451,000 into our banking system the past 13 years. That would have been money that would have left the entire family otherwise. Total death benefit, first two policies was a half a million bucks. In the 13th year, we have 30 million of total death benefit rising every month. The total cash value on day one was about 4,250. In year 13, 2 million and two and rising daily. How are we doing so far? The loans, uh, first year, our first policy loan was for a car seat for my firstborn son. So that was a $300 policy loan. And in year 13, our loans outstanding today are 200,982. And that's about to jump up significantly because of how we manage all of our financial, personal overhead, our corporate overhead, everything flows through our system of policies. The loan amount available is 1.801 million. That's capital that's on demand, accessible on my terms. I'm in control. 
cash flowing back to our family in the first year, it was 330 because I repaid the policy loan with 10% interest. Now we have 26,000 coming back to the family every month. That's just in loan repayments, not just from my immediate family, but from our family. We practice this process with inside of our family. We create the family banking system. And now we've got 26,000 a month flowing back month after month. And windfalls, the first year there were no windfalls, meaning nobody graduated, nobody passed away. But up to year 13, we've had two windfalls. My father-in-law passed away in September of 2020 after a very short battle with cancer. We had two policies on his life. Those policies paid a tax-free death benefit. Part of the death benefit was used to purchase policies on all nine of the grandkids to uh, honor his legacy. Part of the death benefit proceeds was to take care of any outstanding uh, terminal tax obligations. And the remaining death benefit is taking care of Nona, his uh, late wife. And we've made sure that Nona will never have a bad financial day for the rest of her lifetime. In fact, she's in Arizona right now and she's just touring around and she's just enjoying her life. And she um, literally text messages me almost on a daily basis to talk about how grateful she is for the family, for the family banking system, and how blessed she is to be able to take the time to grieve the loss of her husband, my father-in-law, and be able to do the things that they loved to do together when he was still with us. And she's reminiscing and going to those places again to bring back really... Um, positive memories and to help her heal as she, you know, goes on to readjust in her life and, and to do that without Papa. So this is the power of what you can do inside of your own system. And what Nelson described it as is he said, Jason, you have created perpetual motion in your family's financial world. Remember, we talked about motion being a natural law. Money's constantly moving through the system. So we've created this perpetual motion. And not to mention over the period of time, you've got to think about, we've got to teach our kids how to do this. And this is a, an older picture of all four of my kids. And what I want you to think about is what kids grow up, they grow up seeing these characters, right? They grow up knowing who Santa Claus is. Uh, they grow up knowing the Easter Bunny. They grow up knowing the Tooth Fairy. Well, our children are growing up not only knowing those characters, but they're also growing up knowing this man, the late R. Nelson Nash, the developer, the pioneer of the process. And they relate to that. They know him by his first and last name. They can describe that we're practicing uh, becoming your own banker. They can describe policy loans. These are children. They're not asking uh, questions like, which life company do you use? And what's the interest rate on policy loans? And what's the internal rate of return? And all that other noise. What they're learning is a process. They're not buying a product. They're learning a process. This is a picture of our annual family banking meeting. This was taken aboard a cruise ship where my sister-in-law was married. And guess how that whole event came together? And guess how the whole family vacation came together? through the family banking system. And we host an annual family banking meeting and we spend about 90 minutes together as a family. We talk about how we're using the system, what our plans are for upcoming uses of the system. This was captured in uh, 2019 when Papa, this gentleman you see in the back row that I'm pointing to, was still alive. He was still with us. And so he got to see his daughter uh, married, remarried, and he got to participate in the annual family banking meetings. And so this is all possible. You can do this with your family. You can uh, achieve this in your life. This is a picture of my 16-year-old nephew, Ethan. In his hands is a signed copy of a loan agreement, and he purchased his first vehicle. 16 years young, he bought a 2003 Mitsubishi Lancer, I think with just over 3000 bucks, and he's repaying that policy loan every single month. He's 16. This is a picture of my sister-in-law, Jen, and her husband, Chris. And this home, which was constructed right next door to the home I live in now, this home was made possible thanks to the family banking system. And we've been taught uh, over the course of our lives, we've been taught to be divisive in our families, right? You're going to grow old someday. Uh, you're going to you know, have your own bills. You're going to have your own mortgage. You're going to start your own family. 
you're going to understand what financial responsibility is all about. And the wealthy don't talk that way. The wealthy talk about keeping the money in the family, having that financial energy come back to their family. If the minority of people in the world are accumulating and controlling the wealth, then why do we continue to do what the majority do financially? It makes no sense. You can practice this process in your life once you know how. And the how is what our coaches coach you on. And while we recognize you may not start a policy, you may not decide to do this with us, but if and when you decide to do this, make sure that you're working with somebody who is thoroughly familiar with the implementation of this process and can demonstrate to you how much premium they're putting into their own system of policies, how long they've been practicing the process, and what specific examples they can share with you about how they've implemented this in their own lives. All of our coaches are authorized infinite banking practitioners with the Nelson Nash Institute. All of our coaches practice this process in our own lives. All of our extended team members who support you as clients as well, every single one of them in our company practice this process in their own lives. We hold ourselves out there as Canada's most trusted, the gold standard of educating you on how to become your own banker and helping you to implement this in your life. And if Nelson were alive today, he would attest to that. He would say, you're absolutely in great hands with the Ascendant team. And so we want to work with you. You have to create a time. It's a becoming your own banker call. There's no cost associated with that call. And a coach is going to talk to you about, A, determining whether or not we can establish a basis to work together, and B, what specific objectives you want to accomplish with this process and whether or not we've got a, a good fit there and if we can help you and coach you along. And then we move to the next step of designing your system and then moving toward implementation. And you've got choices after having attended today. You can choose to do nothing and that means that nothing will change. You'll go back to your normal and everyone else will continue to get all your money. The second option is book the call. You've, you've received a text message, you've received an email, you've got a link to be able to click on and schedule a date and time that's convenient for you. And you'll be connected with the right person on my team to help you take those next steps. So if you want to text the word schedule to 780-809-4599, again, that's texting the word schedule to 780-809-4599. And you'll get the link to be able to schedule your call. And it's, um, again, don't bring any money to that call. Nobody is going to ask you for any. We need to determine first and foremost, if we have a basis to work together.